Hi, everyone. Today I'm going to perform two songs, uh, and the first one is my original one, and the second song is called Ironic. It will be covered by Lance Morissette. And Luke is going to play for me today. So the first song called Nothing to Say. Hope you enjoy it. ironic as I said and yeah hope you enjoy it as well uh, I just created Facebook page and I know my surname is really tricky but follow it thank you no man in 1098 he won the lottery it's a black fly in your Chardonnay It's a different pattern It's minutes too late And isn't it ironic? Don't you think? Yeah. 
security box That's just it on the day And I hear what I thought I'd be first It's to play safe Cause the to fly I keep back to see you In case, in case, case, case Bye Don't you think? When you were late And I'll smoke inside On your cigarette break It's like two thousand spoons When all you need is a knife It's missing the man of my dreams And then missing his beautiful wife And isn't it ironic Don't you think? A little too ironic and yeah, I really do think it's like playing on a wedding day. It's a free ride. I want it already paid. It's a good advice that you just said on day. And I don't know who would have thought of the girls. Life is a funny way. Up on you. And I funny, funny way of helping you out, helping you out. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, hi, Daria. Um, I thought you had a, a nice quality to your voice. Um, the only unfortunate thing about your original song was that the three of us all looked at each other straight away and said Hotel California because it was really similar. Um, and even, you know, to the point where we thought you might not even get away with um, putting it up on YouTube. Someone might, you might be issued with a takedown notice. And it was a, it was a great song. I really enjoyed it, but it was so similar. So you've got to be really careful with that kind of thing. Um, uh, I thought that some of your lyrics were quite tender but um, the same thing again really about being a singer songwriter you've got nothing to hide behind so we're really focusing in on your lyrics and um, so you had what a line you are my sun my light in the darkness you've got to be a little bit careful that it's, it's quite a that you don't fall into cliche with your lyrics and so I would you know advise you get get some songwriting books about different lyricists shove as much poetry into your brain as you can handle you know just so you've got a bit more something that sticks out in your lyrics that's just a little bit less um, obvious. Um, and I did feel with the backing track on, the, on your cover version, it did get a tiny bit shouty. But thanks very much. Thanks, Wendy. Rachel B? Um, yeah, same thing. I really liked the, the first song, but did sound, unfortunately, very like Hotel California. Um, I also felt like on the first song that you, it felt like you wanted to let rip, but you didn't quite have the confidence to do it yet. And I don't know whether or not you need to create songs that are kind of more within a comfortable vocal range for you or find the confidence to really go for it. But I kind of kept feeling like you really wanted to go for it and you didn't quite do it. Whereas in the second song, you did really go for it. For me, um, I, I will be marking people down for doing covers, I'm afraid, because I feel like I can't see their full repertoire Based, I can't really make a judgment on who you are as an artist based on one song. And I also feel like, it's particularly if you are doing a cover, 
you know, I, I really want to see a very different interpretation, you know, like a very original uh, interpretation if you are going to do a cover. And I think it, you know, with a backing track, you, you haven't really got much room to do that at all. So, um, yeah, that was, that was a bit disappointing. I would have loved to have heard another okay. one of your songs. Okay, thank you. Phil Ellis. Hi, Daria. Hello. Yeah, much the same as the others, um, but I really thought it was a, a very confident performance, so I thought you used the stage well in what you were doing. Um, I can see why you perhaps did that cover to show both your voice a little bit and show that range, but I'd like to have heard another original. But just be aware of that, that chord structure. You would really struggle with a musicologist on just using a, a complete pattern in that chord structure. There was just one different chord in there. Otherwise, it was Hotel California. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed your vocal. And uh, thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks, Phil. Neil Mason? Hello. Yeah, I, yeah, I echo what the other three say. I, I liked... There's something there with you. I'm not quite sure what it is, but there's something there. There's a real nice, quirky quality to you. But again, you know, I'd like to see... I was disappointed with the cover version. I'd love to go out for a night karaoke with you. That would be an absolute blast. Um, but yeah, you know, if you're going to do cover versions... I think you, you just need to be a bit more, bit more creative. I, you know, mm -hmm. a really dirty dubstep version of an Alanis Morissette song with you singing. Okay. I'd, you know, I'd like to hear that. Thank you. Thanks. Cool. And the questions for Daria, please. Yes. Uh, wh what are you doing with your social media to promote yourself at the moment? Yeah, I just create, you know, like Facebook page where I posted my videos and uh, SoundCloud uh, where I upload my MP3s and recordings. And yeah, YouTube, SoundCloud, and maybe, you know, like if, if I do like gigs or open mics, like give people some flyers Excellent. and stuff. Yeah, okay. I think that will work. And how would you make the most of it if you got on to the uh, tour? Yeah, because guys said as well, it's a great experience, like meeting new people, and we're all doing the same thing. Like we all admire music. And okay. that's what I really would love to do, like, you know, being in this atmosphere. It's actually great. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Brilliant, thank you. Brilliant. Ladies and gentlemen, Daria, brilliant. Aramancy! <laughs> All right, guys, the first song we're going to perform is called Triangles. I hope you enjoy it. Oh 
Nancy there, fantastic. Hello. Um, yeah, uh, I liked your sound. I liked what was going on there technically. I liked the guy with the funny guitar. I don't know what it is. I liked what you were doing there. Really, really good. Um, I wanted it noisier though. I wanted it a lot noisier. Um, I liked the first song where it, where it kicked off. I thought that was great. Um, 
my problem is you don't feel like a band. It's like four blokes who got who struck lucky because you are a fantastic front woman. I can't I can't imagine you all down the boozer together. I just can't I can't see it. But you know I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. Thanks, Neil. Over to Phil. Phil Ellis. Cheers. Yeah, I thought the band played really well, and I think you were a great vocalist and a great front person. You got a lot of presence there going on. I really enjoyed it. Cheers. Thanks, Phil. Rachel B from My Love Live. Uh, yeah, I felt a little bit the same. Like your look and kind of vibe is quite contemporary, and you all look like sort of old rockers. And maybe you would sort of gel together a little bit more if you kind of had a little think about the look. Because I actually really like what you're doing. I really like the kind of slightly husky, soft vocal with the you know quite hard rock. I feel like I'm not totally convinced that you're convinced that you're in the right group. Either I sort of feel like they're really rocking out at the back and you're sort of like, you're kind of almost rocking out and almost losing yourself to the music, but I'm not quite, not 100% convinced. I could be convinced. I'm not saying that it's wrong, but I feel like you need to go for it more, um, possibly. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. Wendy Roby? Hiya. Um, I really loved it. Um, I think you, there was a really nice balance between the delicate elements and the sort of heavier elements. I preferred the first song. I thought some of the sort of textural stuff you were doing, the sort of the slower parts, I really enjoyed that. Um, I, but I do kind of agree with the others. I think you look amazing. You've got some serious hair in your band and you do look brilliant. <laughs> But you don't look at each other, and that's crazy. You, you could, you, I think all it would take is a little bit more so that you feel like you're all playing together. I don't know if you've ever seen the band Caribou. They play in a circle, and they look at each other constantly, and they are the tightest band you'll ever see. You need to look at each other, because you're not doing yourselves justice at the moment, and what your sound is amazing, so you just need to sell it a bit more. Thank you. Great, thanks, Wendy. Oh, we've got and a couple questions. of questions. Yes, social media, how, would you, how do you use it to promote yourselves? Yeah, um, we've uh, just we've recently created a Facebook page, and um, that's kind of like the basic thing we kind of do. Um, we've also started. Um, we have SoundCloud uh, account, uh, YouTube, and I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Um, if yeah, you were so given, if you were given the opportunity to go on tour, how would you make the most of the experience and benefit from it? Well, I think the most important thing. Um, is uh, the people you meet on the tour because as um, someone trying to make it in music you want you want to know people like contacts who can get you work later we've all really kind of wanted to go on the tour because really like for most of us it's the reason why we went to actually music college just a chance to go on a tour really and it's just all the experience <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like what we want to do as a main career and the fact just to have almost like a spoon fed or whatever way you want to call it like experience of a tour it just sounds out to outstanding hard to get more experience than just performing because yeah I moved down to London to do this and yeah it's all I want to do I promise we'll look at each other okay good <laughs> thanks very much brilliant thanks Aero Mancy, ladies and gentlemen brilliant